Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. Let's restart from the last checkpoint and see how much I have to replay in this section. Not too much, good. So, I was desperately low on health and dying where I did, which was about five seconds from here. Probably didn't change too much. The trick here, I don't know what it is. Actually, it's like, come down here, I guess. Come down to this. These characters seem like they almost kill you on the first hit. I might try using a fairy after on the, one of them because that might kill them. I suppose I could go like to the characters here. We have so many characters we haven't checked in a long time. Baba Yaga apparently made it as a main character probably because she was killed. Uh, let's see. I don't really need to know anything about those characters. Hmm. Honestly, there's not a ton of variety you could even have with these different types of enemies. Let's see, Reaper. They're, they're pretty defensive against fairies. I was thinking maybe. Maybe they would have some weird twist to them where they, they'd kill you in one hit, but. Uh, but if you throw a fairy at them, they. They die because they're spiritual. Already at full health. Activate the switch with a thing because it looks like I need to. Hmm. Hmm. See, this is like animating wrong. Oh, it's the background. Animating see through it. Oh no, so I actually do have to go all the way through this again. And no shortcut here. Let's see. I don't think we... We tried this one. We could certainly give this one a try. Okay. Oh, don't hit that. Oh, darn it. It's just a collectible, anyways, but I do want to get it. Light magic gym. There's no real risk in picking that up. Again, this is a prime example of why I'm glad we didn't have the double jump. Because if we did have it earlier in the game, the whole game would have been nothing but these things. Let's see if you fall and you don't make the ledge, it sends you back to there without doing any damage to you, so it's very nice. Even, I bet even in game testing, they, they, they ran into so many people just unable to survive through a level if they did their standard small slice of life loss for every time. Hmm. The Reapers did not show up this time, so I might be in a safer position when I go through this mirror. See, a bunch of Reapers showed up here last time, and they were severely harshing my buzz to use 
A really old term. There we go. So now that's, I believe both paths activated. I mistook that switch for being just a place where fairies would show up. And how do I get over there? Seems like I don't have any enemies anywhere attacking me. I'm now just in this weird position where I don't know where to go. Alright. This. Ah, uh, this one I haven't gone to yet. But I, I now see what I'm supposed to do. I have to chain and then jump this way and go here and we'll see where this one leads me a third switch that I missed ah and the gate is now open excellent so Now I imagine after all this platforming and puzzling, the next level is just going to be a complete boss fight with nothing else in it. Probably a rather long and difficult boss fight, if I was to guess, but... I assume this just ends the level here. We're going to take on the Necromancer, the last Lord of Shadow, and then... I don't know what else is going to happen. Well, before we take on him, we're going to have to take out this guy. Again, my chain whip. Able to attack at extremely far distances. So he's summoning this Archangel Ghost that I don't have any business with. I haven't had a great opportunity to refill my... Uh, refill my evil meter here. I've gotten down to half his health. I suppose I could... Now he's down to a quarter of his health after I threw that holy water grenade. I keep wanting to say holy hand grenade, but I know that's not right. I lock in and do the quick time event. Every single fight requires a quick time event to burn these things. See, am I gonna get a new ability? It would be very late in the game to get a new ability. There's been a couple places where it felt like maybe you could get one, but it seemed almost pointless. There we go. And through this, and I bet this is the end of the level.
again, I think we still actually are on Earth. A very magical point in Earth, but I think we're still on Earth. I think there's no other domains or realms that this game is particularly interested in. See, and if this character did go to like a hell realm or some other, the land of the fairies or something, it, it just gets even further away from Castlevania, which this game is already 75% not Castlevania, at least, because it's not taking place in the castle or around the castle or... Uh, the only time we were really in the castle was with the vampire lady. The rest of it's been in other areas. I'm rather surprised that there's more platforming to do here. This doesn't feel like it's adding anything to the gameplay. Unlike a game like Assassin's Creed where half of the gameplay is climbing around and, and getting there, the big difference there is in Assassin's Creed you choose to climb something because you want to or because there's something of significant reward there that's extra. In this game you have to climb regardless of whether you want to or not to move the forward story forward. Now there's a grapple point here, it's just it's not it's not working very well. There we go. Just more climbing for climbing's sake. Of course, I would be saying the exact same thing about the fighting. The more fighting for fighting's sake. Maybe if about halfway through the game on easy, I was able to kill every creature in one hit, and it was more of a just action based game instead of fight sequence based game, where the enemies just constantly randomly spawned and they were very weak I might be able to get into that but it would be a different game definitely I think it'd probably be closer to Castlevania the original Castlevania if the enemies respawned because I think they did this feels very much like Devil May Cry done worse uh, I actually enjoyed Devil May Cry for its insane difficulty that I couldn't ever possibly hope to get good at, but I still appreciated the concept a lot better because it had more moves and a, it, was, it was definitely having more fun with the story. Let's see. I need a couple thousand more to get Exploding Quake, and then uh, I'd need 25,000 to get Ultimate Light. I bet if I get this, there will be an Ultimate Darkness or something, too. Let's continue. Now, I guess we're Look taking on the boss. So dark, so beautiful. He has come for his revenge, and he shall have it. A killing machine without remorse, without pity. What has happened to you, Gabriel? What have you become? Love has blinded you, but you have changed, my friend. Your quest is almost over. The dream is in sight. Now you must face death, and you must defeat it. The mask is a powerful device, and he who wields it can do anything. Bring back the dead, rule the world, destroy the universe, challenge God himself. You are the one, Gabriel. You are the one. 
Yeah. Okay. Again, he's saying he's a killing machine without remorse. We haven't seen any of these actions actually in our character. Not one bit. I mean, we've been killing bad monsters, yes, but he seemed kind of remorseful when he, if he actually killed that girl long, long time ago. The story that's being told has nothing to do with the actual actions in the gameplay, or even the actions in these cutscenes, really. He was remorseful when he killed Pan. Impressive, warrior. I'm amazed you've come this far. I have come to end this, sorcerer. By whose authority? What right do you have to judge me when so much blood has been spilt by your own hands? Look at you. You rebel in death. We are one and the same, you and I. You will not stop me. <laughs> No, I will not stop you. Look upon me, hypocrite. Gaze upon glorious death. No, this is going to be another Titan fight. I suppose there's supposed to be some irony here that the three bosses he's fought all attempted to defeat death themselves. What is turning into a werewolf, a vampire, or turning to necromancy, really, but an attempt to gain eternal life in some form or fashion, and that's what the main character is also trying to do, is defeat death and bring back his wife. So they could probably do a battle here. Fine. It might be like the witch battle that wasn't too bad. But if this turns into a full on just titan thing where I have to climb on them and hit specific points, it's going to be very frustrating. I'm just on this rock. And as far as I can tell, there's no... So, it is a climbing thing, oh my goodness. They were really sold on this idea. They were really sold on this idea, obviously. Where am I going? I don't know which way I'm going. Am I... Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to drop down again? What am I supposed to do? I'm really hoping that there's some checkpoints in this. this thing for what seems like no reason. <laughs> and 
And see, this is so... Like... Oh, don't fall. This is so much that it should, by all rights, just like checkpoint me to places and not allow me to actually fall at all. This, any other game, this concept would probably just be shown as a cutscene. I don't know if we're going back and forth or what here. It seems like there's no actual like targets that I can hit. So hold on. I suppose the good news is I've either gotten really good at doing this, or the game has, has made it really, really easy on me. Hmm. Now, as soon as I break one of these, Is it going to try and do something different? far away from the second one. Oh, come on. Seriously? How much of that do I have to redo? I just have like a tiny bit of his life bar down too. Just trying to find the one thing to grab onto. It doesn't seem like it's too much. But even even this much is still a lot. So I definitely don't want to fall, as if that was ever a question. See this one's about to... Yeah, that's what I thought. And if there's only two of these, that would be great. But every other time there's been three, this game has followed the rules of three so many other times that I see no reason why there isn't a third one somewhere over here. So, at this angle, I'm probably hanging completely upside down. It, that would be my guess, because either I'm hanging upside down, or this creature 
is floating, flying straight up. Decided to hold on to it for a little bit there early. I could probably hit this a couple times. Nope, just once. Right now, go. It doesn't even make sense that this creature would have these things. The Titans, it made sense. These, it doesn't. Unless this is a Titan. A dead dragon Titan. Leave. This is all going to be quick time events from this point on. No. I believe I did it right. So, yeah, I was confused there for a second. I was like, wait a minute. Is it throwing me off because I screwed up something? This is not what I expected. I expected just another fight. I didn't wasn't expecting even a great fight. I had already resigned myself to it being just a simplistic fight with the necromancer. But this is so much worse. And I bet we're still gonna end up fighting the necromancer and having to do some battle there. Either that, or we'll find out who our true enemy is, and fight that person. We haven't gotten an upgrade to our cross in a long time. I guess we probably won't. It's far too late for any of that. See, this is that weird, like, two-faced dragon that I've seen, I think, in either Chinese culture or uh, Japanese culture. There's this thing here, what is this thing? Why is there a glowing thing right here? I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. It's like, I climb up here, and then uh, jump in his mouth and just start punching it, I guess. It's like... Just basically punching him in the uvula. Oh, he doesn't actually have two faces, it just looks like... I thought he did. So my gauntlet has glowed with electricity a couple times now, but it doesn't give us like any kind of electricity ability or anything. But that is the gauntlet that is the key to something that Pan insisted we get that. And there's this rock that was glowing. So is the platform I'm on falling, or is the rest of the world summoning upward? Apparently the necromancer destroyed the 
pulley place so well that you had to switch it to put it back together. Interesting. And so we now go forward to the next level. Here's the exploding quake ability which I'll never use like all the other abilities and see ultimate shadow so ultimate shadow ultimate light right trigger and then left uh, when in this state perform powerful charge movements yep I don't think I'm going to get 50,000 more experience at this rate. So, it's kind of odd they didn't end on chapter 13, but chapter 12, the final fight. Well, if chapter 12 is the final fight, then chapter 13 maybe is DLC and 14 is DLC, or chapter 13. 13 is the end credits or chapter 13 is the actual final fight and then 14 is the end credits seems like there might and only now, be a couple final battle is come marie is waiting for you my friend she knows what you have done she knows everything marie has hoped all this time that you would save the world and here you are on the brink of it you stand upon a knife edge. She has kept faith in you despite everything. Now you must fulfill your destiny and the truth will out. I will help you, old friend. I will be with you in this, your moment of victory. So, Patrick Stewart here, still spying on me and following me, I guess. Even after that point when he said he couldn't follow me and spy on me anymore. Unlock the main character entry. So he just needs to go here and say his three Latin words. Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. That was easy. Too easy. Congratulations. You have done well, my friend. I see you have united the powers. Excellent. We can now end this. Once and for all. Come. Yes. Let's bring an end to this charade. Finally, it is time for the truth. Let us remove our masks. So what mask is that that he put on? You! You are the lord of the necromancers! The final lord! Now you begin to understand! Yes, Gabriel! It was I who cast the spell that separated the Earth from the heavens. I knew this would force my brothers and sister in heaven to contact the Order here on Earth. The prophecy was their little ray of hope in the darkness. 
We Lords of Shadow, as you call us, have been impotent for far too long, fixed in an uneasy truce for many centuries, each possessing our share of the power, but each unable to have mastery over the others. Until now. I grew so tired of these years of proliferation, a constant truce between the three of us, each unwilling to concede or cooperate with the others. They were too blind to see the potential in the power we held. If only it were combined. I desired that ultimate power and was prepared to probe the very depths of hell in search of knowledge to acquire it. I fought hordes of demons and became strong. Then a force so vast and terrible entered into me, expanding my knowledge of the dark arts until it reached unimagined heights. All I needed was someone to restore the luminous power of the spirits according to the prophecy, and you have been the perfect dupe. Of course, I couldn't arouse their suspicions that it was I who desired the power for my own. No, I used the prophecy as my cover. And you, my shining knight. I will not allow you to stand in my way, Zobek. I'm sure you won't. But you really have no say in the matter, my dear friend. I could quite easily kill you for your insolence. But fortunately, there is no need. What do you mean? The Gauntlet will do it for me. As I told you, dark power is my dominion, forged in the pits of hell no less. There was just the small matter of the child and her protector. But you came through with flying colors. I needed your strength of will and courage to complete the quest, but I couldn't risk you becoming too powerful. I needed to control you at the end, once you had murdered them. I knew you would never be able to challenge me whilst wearing it. Poor little Claudia. Such a sweet thing. No. You have exceeded even my wildest expectations, killing and butchering your way to victory. There is a terrible darkness in you, my friend. Your burning desire to resurrect your darling Marie has blinded you to it. As you slept, I was able to influence you with this mask. But even I did not foresee the beast that lay within. It was all too easy to make you kill them. Your penchant for murder and death were insatiable. You just needed a little nudge, and off you would go in search of the one thing that could bring her back. Yes, Gabriel, now you finally understand. It was you who murdered your wife. No! You lie! Bastard. Search your soul, Gabriel. You know it to be true. I was worried she would reveal my charade to you at the lake. But it seems she had a false hope that even a killer such as you could redeem himself and save the world. Even the child, Claudia, could see her own demise at your hands. And yet she also trusted in you to the bitter end. Glorious, isn't it? God himself sees you for what you are. A cold-blooded murderer. Beyond redemption? Beyond hope. I don't know why the audio cut out there and got real quiet for a second. But... Boy, is he ridiculous. I'm just sitting here explaining everything. Goodbye. Old friend. Again, Patrick Stewart, just not the voice actor for this character. And this character is written horribly too, so he, that that's also part of the problem. Uh did I particularly think he murdered his own wife? It had crossed my mind a couple of times, but it seemed kind of pointless one way or the other. 
So Zobek had been controlling him even before this whole thing. <laughs> Hail, mighty Zobek. Who's there? Who? Don't you remember me? I came to you in the void. I granted you knowledge and power. Power that you could never have obtained on your now own. Now it's getting ridiculous. Surely you haven't forgotten. In fact, I planted the idea for this whole elaborate ruse into your tiny mind in order to serve my own higher purpose. I no longer need your assistance. The power is now mine. So now we have a bad guy that we've never even knew existed until this point. Looks like it's the devil himself. Father, I come for you. Before the end, you will bow down to me! It is your time again, Don't be afraid. Come with us. Join us. Get away from him. Don't wake him. Don't touch him! You cannot have him! <laughs> if you take him, we are all lost. Darkness will triumph, and there will never, ever be peace or hope. We will be trapped here forever. Don't you see? We must grant him the power to go will back. Will he free us? Will we see the light that was promised? I believe in him. His heart is pure. He is our last hope. Our only hope. I had forgotten that, like, all the dead souls weren't getting into heaven because of the curse. A lot of this information should have been repeated. It would have at least had given them some story to talk about. Now, if we just saw the devil, in the Castlevania universe, is Dracula the devil? Because sometimes he is. Sometimes he isn't. Uh, I keep getting the feeling that this is a prequel to the original Castlevania games. I, I could be totally wrong about this. And then I guess it wouldn't really so, matter. So, he has abandoned you too. So be it. Join me. I will love you more than he. I was adored once above all others. I too didn't deserve to be cast out, abandoned. Now you know what that feels like, don't you? Hate can bring us back. Give us strength. Embrace it. 
It is what is in men's hearts that he cares about. He loves you as he loves me. We have only to ask for forgiveness deep within ourselves and be welcomed back. You monkeys don't deserve redemption. It is my divine right to rule by his side as an equal, or perhaps more than that. You would rather rule in power and might than to offer forgiveness and love. This is why you are cast out, unholy one. You dare to challenge me? You will die for your blasphemy. Your soul belongs to me. So... Didn't Pan teach you anything? Let's hit the back button here and see what they call him. Satan difficulty. His defense is against everything three stars. And that was a titan. And who's the new character? The Lord of the Dead? There we go. So, I really wish we had had the dialogue that the main character just made in two sentences throughout the whole game. That is the character I assumed he was, and we never heard him speak in such terms. See, will my holy? Surely you can do better than that, Gabriel. Um. Did I just get? Show me your weapon, and trapped? I'll show you mercy. I'm gonna lose. So let's try. Bow down to me. It's Satan who commands you. This. Now, this is the same demon, so I'll just skip this cutscene because I don't want to censor it out. We never got a different demon. There. You. He let your beloved die. And I think he's. I think he's safe in angel mode, and frankly, I don't think I'm running out of magic either. It's just infinite. But it's not doing any damage to him either. So if I go to demon mode there, he does trap me there. And that's no good. Surely you can do better than that, Gabriel. I really can't. I'm I'm having a lot of difficulty. You have been fooled, Gabriel! She is gone forever! Remember, I'm playing on easy mode, and if we just hit this final Didn't fight, then we can't anything? win. Oh, I know. When he's using demon energy, I, I have to use the... So, unless... So Pan is was supposed to have taught us to use use dark energy when he uses light energy and use light energy when he uses dark energy on his staff. Is that the power of God? Right. Let's see. Um, God doesn't love you. He let your beloved that, die. That was unfair. They didn't give me enough time. Nope. This is this is incredibly difficult. You can't teach you anything. No, I'm supposed to use the opposite of what he uses. Yeah. Surrender your weapon, and I'll show you mercy. So this is just back and forth, all over the place. 
Bow down to me! It's Satan who commands you! And see, it's kind of difficult to... Impossible! Is that the power of God? No. Darn it! Surely you can do better than that. No, I can't. Oh, man. Can we just skip this whole thing? No. God doesn't love you. He lets your beloved die. Surely you can do better than that, Gabriel. Hmm. We're not doing anything except for knocking him down. And if we don't get you one of those, fooled, Gabriel. She is gone if we don't get through one of those cut, quick cut time events, we can't do anything more. So we're at this total standstill. Didn't Pan teach you anything? Impossible. Is that? The power of God. So, I have to go through here. Go through here. Come on. And just as I almost had him, he moves that way. Your weapon, and I'll show you mercy. Is that the power of God? There we go. May I never have to do that again. I don't care if they want to make some completely different setup or something, that's fine, but that was a mess. Poorly, poorly thought out. Poorly implemented. This may just be a quick time event for the rest of the game. That, that'd be fine. I'd be okay with that. If he comes out in a completely different form, that's cool too. Look how considerate he is, he's putting the floor back together. I really wasn't thinking we would fight Saint. I thought we'd fight Dracula. That makes more sense. Is this gonna turn into some strange thing where Dracula is the is the hinted at boss of the next of the sequel and uh, you can defeat me. and he's even worse than Satan that doesn't really make sense you really can't make that argument stick in fact when you're fighting the devil you pretty much left no room for a sequel at all and he is a Belmont Now, until these circles go away, I can't come out of my demon mode. I guess I could, but there'd be no reason to. I will so. wipe the name of Belmont from this world forever! So, once that happens, he's down to almost half his health. Damn you, Gabriel! Gabriel Belmont. If this is a prequel and there are more Belmonts, they would either have to be not direct descendants or this main character Gabriel is going to have to bring back his wife or find a new wife to have more kids unless he already has kids sitting around somewhere while he's running around 
fighting monsters. No! Stay back from me. That was much better. Much more doable. That's a heck of a attack. Start by letting Satan stab you. And then break his sword in half and pull it out of your gut stomach. Back down you go. What I think is a demonic glove, how come Satan can't control it? And how come this god mask isn't really helping him? Must have not been that strong after all. We're just in a cutscene now. Is that because that... that of easy mode? They skipped a section? forgiveness and mercy for those that I have What I did, I did unknowingly. Yet I would change everything if I could. He isn't listening, Gabriel. Your fate is fixed. Every man has the power to repent. I have faith in that. Forgive me. Forgive me. My God. I will have such fun with your memory. I will introduce you to such pleasures. Her soul will go only to him. Once I have finished with you, Angel. Where'd that power come from? The angel wings? I guess. Oh, maybe he's ascending to heaven, purifying himself like the other people. So the souls can go to heaven. Yay. It's an interesting fact that in early Christianity it was believed that all souls just slept until the apocalypse and then everybody entered heaven at the same time. Now modern Christianity assumes you go to heaven as soon as you die, if you go to heaven at all. Except for those who believe in purgatory, who... Life? No. I do not want this. Why has my life been given back to me? It is your fate. You have been given back what was wrongfully taken from you. To repent your sins. To make amends. But without you... You freed them all. You saved us all, my Gabriel. I couldn't save you. I knew I could not tell you, or despair would have eroded your resolve and everything would have been lost. I had faith in you, hoped that you would be strong enough to free the world, and you did not let me down. I am not worthy of your faith, your love. I am nothing. You are a good man, Gabriel. You are as God intended, fallible yet capable of great things. I loved you then, as I love you now. I see before me a man who has regained God's favor and who has my forgiveness and the forgiveness of all the lost souls of this world. You have saved us all and you have saved yourself.
The mask is a powerful device. It allows us to see through God's eyes. Can it really bring the dead back? Yes. Look. She put the mask on him. I wouldn't be surprised if that never came off. Fool's hope. It is too late for me, my love. I cannot come back. Is she taking the mask? No, don't go. It is my time. The light is calling. I am not no. afraid. Please stay. Stay with me. It's beautiful, Gabriel. So beautiful. It's calling to me. Calling. I love you, Marie. I love you. Forgive me. She takes the mask with her. And here's the girl that never spoke. So she died too. The only the other people would be like the bad guys, the the little vampire girl and the witch. And have no clue what that mask was, whether that was a demon mask or what. The devil mask, maybe? If there was a god mask, there must be a devil mask. So, one of the problems here, the game hugely suffers probably mostly by being made by Konami <laughs> but let's let's not go that route it usually suffers from a unreliable narrator and having that unreliable narrator being uh, Jean-Luc Picard aka Sir Patrick Stewart he went throughout the entire game and told a completely different story than the one I w wish I had heard a story where the main character talked like he did in these final cutscenes. The only good dialogue he exp expends is in this final cutscenes. That alone wouldn't have saved the game though because the game is horribly broken up. It's got no real story in it at all throughout it. I forgot several key factors. There's people who are thrown in for a second just to be killed three levels later. The level design is pretty awful. The puzzle designs, uh, most of them were fine. Uh, looking at the credits here, it seems like there's a, a incredibly small a number of people that worked on this game, too, and they're all English names, uh, well, Western names, which strikes me as very strange. Because I, being a Konami game, I would have sworn this thing was made by a small Japanese studio inside of Konami. And that we'd be seeing all kinds of Japanese names. It would certainly explain why there was several just boobs that were flashed in certain places for no real reason. It, it would certainly explain a few things actually. Blue Studios... I imagine was the inside studio there that made it, although side might have also been it. I wouldn't be surprised from, again, from what I've heard about Konami, I wouldn't be surprised if each of these studios were completely kept in the dark. Motion capture services, far too much of that because that there's more people credited for that than for a lot of the other departments. Uh, not to the motion capture wasn't nice, it's just not necessary. Uh, 
having better level design would have been so much better having a real reason to do these fights it feels like they wanna they wanted this to be like devil may cry where each fight would be really difficult and it would give you xp and it would rank you like devil may cry but it's missing all of that so you just run into a fight and you can either choose to kill people and get like 10 experience which when we went through the entire game on easy we got more than enough experience to unlock everything except for the last two abilities uh, now of course I could, could I won't but I could go back and play the whole game on normal I could go back and play the whole game on uh, on hard I could go back and play the whole game on the most difficult levels and get more experience and all of that but I imagine that's just gonna have me take more damage and deal less damage and have less health we got almost I would say 80% of the collectibles without really having to try because the level design is so straightforward there's I'm sure the last 20% would be easy to pick up if I wanted to play the game a second time it's just the main core of the game does not encourage me to play this anymore in fact it this is to my knowledge the first Konami game I've ever played uh, it's probably not true almost certainly not true but it's the first game I've ever recognized was a Konami game and it just feels so lackadaisical like they didn't care they didn't support their teams they didn't work together I, I'm I know my mind and my knowledge of what we've all heard about Konami is changing my perspective here and I sh I need to stay away from that because I should just review the game from what I actually saw but I can certainly speculate that there was a lack of funding a lack of support a lack of interdepartment communication uh, when you see big boss battles taking place on tiny platforms that is obviously there was a department in charge of boss battles there was a department to, in charge of level design and they did not communicate even on the basics like what scale is this enemy going to be at how easy is it going to be to actually walk around this area uh, there's tons of platforming in this game that i don't like it doesn't really coordinate to a 2d platforming game at all it let's see what are we seeing here a sculptured statue now i'm pretty sure there is a lord of shadows too so eventually I'll, I guess I'll get around to it, but I'm not looking forward towards it. So we never got to Castlevania. This game has no right to be called the Castlevania game. And being set in the same universe, it doesn't really add anything to the to to the story. I still don't know if this game was supposed to be a prequel or a sequel or an alternate reality or retelling this looks nice this looks like a really nice trailer for a sequel at the end of the game I wouldn't be surprised if in the original release of the game this wasn't even there hmm. Zobek was an awful character pointless to be there he might as well have just been a sidekick throughout the whole fight uh, throughout the whole game instead of s sneaking and following the main character Belmont So it's a dragon with some, with a bunch of like serpent statues. I mean, how can you have a sequel 
to this game. We just defeated the devil. I mean, you, they totally can't go much worse than the devil. The super devil, the mega devil. That's a reference to the Binding of Isaac, the game where you, you defeat Satan and then you, you fight Mega Satan. And we're just sitting here watching a completely quiet trailer of a man walking around flying. An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobek. Yes, old friend. It is I. Where have you been all this time? Out there. Amongst the living. And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. He sent Dracul. No doubt you once were. But alas, look at you now. Hmm. A mere shadow of your former self. Shadow, come on. What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. He is unlikely to welcome both of us with open arms. Don't you think? Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. It is time to get out of this wretched tomb you have made for yourself. Stop skulking in the shadows. Don't you care that he will enslave you? I can free you of your immortality.
Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Definitely unexpected. Let's see. Let's see. We can't afford these two. And let's... New difficulty mode unlocked. Continue quest. And apparently chapter 13 is some DLC bonus stuff. So... I think we will definitely do that, but let's come over to the extras here and spend some money on the artwork. Let's see. I guess I have to purchase it, don't I? And then we'll just look through all this. So, that is a very interesting, like, little credits scene for the sequel. Is that what it is in the, let's see, Chaos Chase Cinematic 1 and 2, okay. Uh, is that what happens in Lords of Shadow 2? Where does that really work? than with the whole uh, original Castlevania games if I mean now they've confirmed what I kind of thought was going to happen is that Belmont would turn into Dracula but then they instead of putting it in a more ancient time they said that in modern day time which again doesn't really feel like Castlevania and I don't think that's really going to help because you're still not going to have a castle. Uh, you're, you're, you're still not going to be full of, of puzzles and environment things. It, it's going to be a continuation I would guess of this game and since this game implemented itself so badly setting it in present day only helps the smallest amount uh, mostly it it's an idea that should have been done in this game if they were going to do it it's a much bolder idea and a better concept and of course they couldn't really have you play as Dracula so the whole concept is eventually thrown out here. Here's Claudia. She's I guess in this artwork she looks a little bit younger but I don't know why they were calling her a child. I don't know why all the story was coming from Zobek. He was the worst one of them. And he really ruined the story. Not the voice acting of Patrick Stewart. I mean, that, that's alright. It's probably a waste of money, but it's fine. The problem was his perspective was this, e this kind of evil and mean-spirited perspective of a when I would have preferred for more of a pious uh, and religious perspective of Belmont and then the tragedy of Belmont turning into a uh, vampire and Dracula nonetheless would certainly be much more poetic here it's not even mentioned until the end of the cut cutscenes arcane architecture oh uh, I thought that said Archangel said There is some decent architecture in some of these levels and then but by the time we got to the end in the necromancer realm of the dead most of that art was out of the picture. I'd forgotten the whole sewer section and the uh, frozen village all of that happened and then went away in about four levels. 
They could have had twice as, uh, half as many environments in this game and it would have worked a lot better. We could have been fighting vampires the whole time and that would have been fine too. Uh, vampires with the occasional other enemy. The whole Frankenstein thing makes no sense. Never did find any of the Frankenstein fingers for that achievement too. That might be this extra DLC level that, that would explain the green. And there's so much art here. Having to pay to purchase it all with experience, I mean, is not, mm, not worth it, nor is it helpful. You want to show off your art so people appreciate your game. You don't want to make people play the game to get it. Uh, in fact, it is often a mistake the video game makers make is they won't give you the extras unless you play the game, which does eliminate a few people from ever seeing the extras. And a lot of people play games and don't ever even bother to look at the extras. Let's see, greenhouse fountain. All this great architecture, and I saw it for like half a second and took note of it, but... Hmm. This probably would have been better as a two-hour animated movie. Hmm. They could have cut out all the gameplay elements that they struggled to make. They could have told a much better story. They could have put budget towards a much better story. And then just put it in here. Or they could have made all the cutscenes that we did see in the game the same, but then have us play a two dimensional Castlevania remake. That would have certainly worked too. Laura looks a little creepier than she did in the sketch there and there's tons of other art usually when they handpick things like this to put in the extras there's probably tons of extra stuff just that gets thrown away Carmilla had a poor choice in dress <laughs> let's see arena detail there was still no reason really to kill Pan other than the, that door. Pan as a character actually was a terrible character because he had no point. Uh, was he working with Zobek? I guess not. Hmm. Or if he was, he was getting manipulated or... He sacrificed himself anyways, it seems, yeah, it kind of makes no sense. The music box level, total pointless extra level there. Maybe they just went wild with gameplay ideas. Half of these ideas could have been taken out and put in the sequel. It's like, we don't need a music puzzle level. We don't need a hell level. Particularly since almost all the sections we only see for a half a second. This level, chapter 11 in particular, you can see they started to run out of budget. Just floating rocks everywhere. Where? When, and then we got into those big boss fights. Those were the worst parts of the game by far. If we had simply not had any of those that would have been good and that's 12 and then epilogue cathedral Ontario cityscape slagra I guess that's the name of that dragon statue details and that's Dracula and that's a Dracula and so, what, the castle, cathedral facade would have been like Castlevania in modern day? How would that even work? Would people just accidentally wander into Castlevania because they 
thought it was a building. Hmm. So that cost me almost 2,000 plus for all that art stuff. If I wanted to play the Vampire War game, I have that. And then, let's see, I guess I could turn on cheats. No damage, all relics, all gems, all upgrades. Interesting. That was an interesting thought there. You can just cheat the whole game now if you wanted to. I wonder if you could run around and get all the collectibles real easily with the cheats on. Anywho, we've got a little bit more to do. It's going to just be whatever that bonus stuff is. It very likely might be Frankenstein related. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name right up. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.